the Players to Watch series continues with a look at the top 5 FPL midfielders to consider for the opening weeks of the new season. Once again, we'll be taking a look at the best budget, mid-price and premium options, with at least one from each of those categories included. Reaching double figures in his first full season for West Ham, Thomas Socek finished as the club's joint leading goalscorer with Mikhail Antonio. Amongst budget midfielders, priced at 6 million or below, only Jack Harrison and former out of position defender Stuart Dallas exceeded his 147 FPL points. The Czech ranked top amongst that group of players for shots in the box, had the fourth most touches in the opposition's penalty box, and recorded the fifth highest number of big chances. Three of West Ham's first four opponents ranked amongst the bottom five teams for goals conceded last season, while no side conceded as many headed goal attempts as Crystal Palace. Since making his first start for Leeds in game week 9 last season, Rafinha went on to average 5.1 points per 90 minutes in 27 appearances. The Brazilian trailed only Bruno Fernandes for assists in that time and ranked amongst the top three midfielders for attempted assists and big chances created. Tallies of 128 touches in the opposition's box and 43 shots in the box, each ranked sixth amongst midfielders. Though Leeds have a tricky immediate start, six of their first 10 fixtures have a difficulty rating of two and Rafinha picked up three assists in seven matches against the top six teams last season. Diogo Jota made an immediate impact for Liverpool after completing a move from Wolves in September last year, netting five goals in his first nine league appearances, before a knee injury disrupted his season. Averaging 8.4 points per 90 minutes during that spell, between game weeks 3 and 11, the 24-year-old trailed only Son, Salah and Fernandes for goals from midfield. No teammate averaged as many as his 3.6 shots or his 2 shots on target per 90 minutes. After regaining fitness, Jota helped Portugal to a last 16 finish at Euro 2020 this summer and will be better placed to start the season than Roberto Firmino, who made it all the way to the Copa America final with Brazil. With a direct involvement in 32 goals last season, Bruno Fernandes finished as the top FPL point scorer in the game. The Portuguese midfielder offered league-leading totals of 95 attempted assists and 20 big chances created, while only Mo Salah and Harry Kane fired more shots. Man United have added further talent to their attack for next season in the form of new signing Jadon Sancho. They avoid the big six in their opening fixtures, taking on Southampton, Newcastle and Aston Villa in the first six games. For the third time in four seasons, no FPL midfielder scored more goals than Mohamed Salah, with 22. Unsurprisingly, the Egyptian king dominated all underlying numbers for goal threat, taking the most shots in total from inside the box and on target. He also led the way for big chances and expected goals. The 29-year-old has scored in all four of his Game Week 1 fixtures since signing for Liverpool, averaging two goal involvements and 12.8 FPL points. He'll be hoping to extend that run against the newly promoted Norwich side, that shipped a league-high 75 goals in their last stint in the Premier League in the 2019-20 season.